Hi friends, you all might have heard the name of Mexico. It's famous for its Mexican food, the Mexican culture. But did you know that it is also famous for its mysterious zone? It's very well known silent zone of Mexico. Today I'm going to share some information about the same silent zone of Mexico. So at the end of this video, if you like it, please press the like button and please subscribe. Ivan Entertainment. Among the legends, radios don't work here inside a silent zone. You cannot hear the conversations of other people. Very tall people in tight silver suits are often seen. It is a pole where earth energy is concentrated. Light spears could be seen flying over the zone. UFOs land here and so on. The phenomena is now claimed to have been first reported in the 1930s by Francisco Sarabia, a Mexican pilot who claimed that his radio had mysteriously failed to function while flying over the zone. Similar claims have been made by other persons who have visited the zone that radio signals didn't work and compasses were unusable. Other claims are that the area attracts meteorites and causes various mental problems. The zone's overall effects are disputed, but there's no doubt that the area has an abundance of celestial activity including some say visits from UFOs and extraterrestrials. Throughout the 20th century, large meteorites landed in southern Chihuahua near the zone, with two even falling on the same branch one in 1938 and another in 1954. A third fell in 1969 in the Allende Valley, just to the west. People for miles saw the light and heard the tremendous noise which broke windows. It attracted the attention of scientists from all around the world. On July 11, 1970, the zone made headlines. That was when an Athena rocket was launched from a U.S. Air Force base in Green River, Utah, as part of a scientific mission to study the upper atmosphere. The rocket was supposed to come down near White Sands, New Mexico. Instead, it went wildly at 2 in the morning and crashed in the heart of the zone of silence. For generations, Stories have abounded from in and around the zone of encounters with strange beings, unusual lights in the sky, and an overabundance of meteor showers. These usually come from people living on remote ranches or outsiders who have gotten lost in the desert. People have seen fireballs in the sky and at times flames rolling down the sides of mountains like massive ignited tumbleweeds. There are lots of stories of aliens and UFOs in the zone. People often get lost in the zone. When this happens, sometimes tall blonde beings appear out of nowhere. Legends include strange magnetic anomalies that prevent radio transmission, mutations of flora and fauna extraterrestrial visitations and a Mexican pilot who supposedly first reported that his radio experienced unexplained malfunctions while flying over the area in the 1930s. The area is sometimes compared to the Bermuda Triangle as both are located between parallels 26 and 28. However, when compasses and communications equipment are shown to work properly in the zone, Local New Age and paranormal enthusiasts claim that the zone moves around. Residents who do not accept the zone's existence call such enthusiasts zoneros. Unbelievable, isn't it? Well, it's quite a fact. I hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching it. And please don't forget to like, share and subscribe Ivan Entertainment. Thank you once again for watching, have a nice time, take care, bye bye.